Welcome back to Wise Man Company. Everyone, Ben here. We're coming to you from the range today. Ammo's really tight right now across the board. All calibers. It's even the cheap stuff has gotten really expensive. I want to show you guys a good exercise that you can do to stay at least a little bit sharp. Dry fire is definitely important, but live fire, you still need to do it. And with ammo being tight, this is a low round count exercise that we're going to do. I totally stole it from Vigor Training. That's Phil Groff over at Vigor Training. And we're going to just run through it today. It takes less than 15 minutes. So I don't want to hear, I never have time to get to the range because you do. You have plenty of time. And today I'm going to show you a quick 50 round exercise you can do that breaks down some easy fundamentals that you should stay sharp on. So first we're going to start with three yards under three seconds, three rounds. Here we go. I'm gonna run from concealment today, but it, if, you're a ra if your range doesn't allow this kind of shoot, shooting, first of all, find a new range. Second of all, off, you could do this from the table. If you weren't allowed to draw from the holster, you would just have to improvise this a little bit. Um, so you don't have to run it concealed. I wanna run it concealed because I wanna work on concealment today. So let's do it. Three rounds under three seconds at three yards. Let me make sure I'm topped off. We are good. Okay, two, three, three. So I'm under, I'm under that three second. Uh, we're looking for high standards of accuracy today. I'm shooting A zone here on an IC-13 target. If you want to make it more difficult, shrink the target. It's that simple. So I'm going to work this A zone today. I don't want anything out of that. Let's move to the next portion of this exercise, which is five rounds under five seconds at five yards. And just so you guys are wondering, I'm using Russian match grade nine millimeter steel case today. All right, under five seconds, five rounds. Make sure you get that last sight picture. Sometimes I have a tendency to yank the gun back in. Make sure you're getting that last sight picture after that last round so you can see where your, your sights are resting again. Don't be so quick to yank it back in. I'm totally guilty of that. Uh, that was three, four, six. So under that five seconds, where are we going to? Seven yards now, seven rounds under seven seconds. You're seeing a pattern here. Ready? That was a four, nine, two. So well below that seven seconds. All right, last one is 10 rounds under 10 seconds at 10 yards. Now, you could put in a fresh mag if you wanted to. If you don't want to work on reloads or you don't want to reload, you could totally time this drill out so it works perfectly, it's 50 rounds. But I'm just going to reload as needed on this drill because I like the reps, I like getting a surprise. So here we go. Okay, that was 1160 with a reload. Could have sped that up a little bit. Probably should have made that 10 seconds, uh, but I'm all in the A zone. Again, you could run this thing. You could have topped off if you wanted to. I just wanted to get a reload in. Uh, right here, Seven yard line, it's gonna be four seconds, or sorry, seven yard line, four shots under three and a half seconds. So we're speeding up that, that time constraints a little bit tighter. So gotta get the gun out, get on that trigger. Four rounds seven, at the seven yard line. That was a 268, so I made the time limit. Uh, next, we are going to do. One left turn, four shot, seven yard under three shot. Staying at the seven yard line, but we're gonna do a left hand turn. Everybody gets, new shooters kind of get a little nervous about turns. You've been turning all your life. This isn't anything really complex. All you're doing is turning and drawing. The big thing to remember is just not to draw the gun now before you turn because you're flagging everybody in that process. So make the turn and present. So we're doing a left turn. What'd you say, Eric? Four rounds, three and a half seconds? Four shots, seven yards, three and a half seconds. 
All right, so I gotta be under three and a half seconds. Four shots again, but I'm just making a left-hand turn. Okay, all in there, 272. 272 on that, now it's gonna be a right-hand turn. Right-hand turn. All right, we're back up. A little bit of technical difficulty there. We are at the seven yard line. We're gonna make a right-hand turn, four rounds under three and a half seconds. If your range doesn't allow you to do this, improvise a little bit. Put the gun on the table, you know, stand like this, make the right-hand turn, pick up the gun and shoot. Not ideal, but you're still getting some movement in there and it, it'll work in the meantime until you find a range that will allow you to do this sort of thing. So here we go. All right, that was a 273, so pretty consistent from the other side as well. Let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, so seven yard line, strong hand only, four, four shots under four seconds. All right, uh, threw one on that, 356. So, gotta work on that strong hand. Let's go to the next one. Four shot, reload, two shot, seven yard, seven shot. Okay, staying at that seven yard line, gonna get a reload in here. Four shots, reload, two shots, under seven seconds. So I gotta set up here for a reload. So we're going to put four in the gun. Got four in the gun. Under seven seconds. Okay. That was a 584, that was a 584, that was well below the seven seconds. All right, let's move back to the 15 yard line and I'll tell you the next portion of the drill. Okay, we're at the 15 yard line. This is the last portion of our 50 round exercise. It is just a draw, one shot at the 15 yard line. So a little bit further distance, still looking for that A zone only hit. And we're gotta be under two and a half seconds for this hit. So get the gun out, don't have a lot of time to fiddle around, press that shot out. We're gonna do this three times, this is our last three rounds. That was a one six. One six, got another rep coming. That was a 164, so pretty consistent there. Last round in the gun. Hit the button. That was a 177. I got hung up on the shirt a little bit. And we're out. We're out of ammo. So that was 50 rounds. Uh, let's go take a look at the target real quick. Threw one shot, and that was uh, that was my strong hand only. So probably should work on my strong hand only a little bit more. Uh, everything else is pretty nice and tight in there. This was a cold run for me on the day. This is the first time I ran this today. I just found an old target, taped it up, put it down range. But you could use a paper plate, you could use stickers, whatever you want. And you could do a ton of variations of this 50 round drill, this 50 round exercise. But the point is, it's easy to do, it doesn't take much time and you're gonna work a bun bunch of fundamentals without burning up a ton of ammo. Is, would it be better to shoot 350 rounds in one day? Heck yeah, I know I would get more out of that, but the times are dictating that you can't do that. So get what you can out there, hit the range, don't be shy. Even if you just wanna pop into the range quickly after work or before work, do it. Get those rounds in, it's easy to do. I hope you guys appreciated this video. 
Leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Uh, and let me know what you guys do for low round count drills. I'd really like to know because I'd like to do them myself. Uh, don't forget to keep dry firing. That's super important. Go over to wisemancompany.com. That's the best way to support us. A ton of great gear over there for you guys to pick up. My name is Ben Brown. We'll see you on the next video.